artists depicted a Gibraltar from an earlier time, with sacred areas, traditional patios, forgotten corners and nostalgic moments, using oils, acrylics, photographs, mixed media work and video. The title was in fact chosen by the curator Philippa Beale and I think it really gives the artist an opportunity to interpret the rock Gibraltar in a very broad way. So perhaps some of them took to the physical, we're seeing landscapes, we're seeing, we're seeing those patios which are quite uh, uniquely Gibraltarian but also going back to specific memories perhaps intimate um, emotions being expressed, intimate uh, moments um, being focused on as well. We have a, a broad range of medium as well, so we have from sculpture to video to photography to mixed media and so on, and that for us was important, as was as well having a, you know, a, a whole variety of artists, from perhaps the more established artists to some of the uh, younger up-and-coming ones as well, to give them an opportunity to experience what it is to be able to exhibit abroad. Cultural Services says the Bermondsey exhibition attracted a lot of interest, sales and positive networking. It's important because they get a feeling of what it is one to exhibit, to exhibit with other artists and also to have their work um, exposed to. We don't know who's going to pass through that and these days also on social media so we don't know who's clicked, who's clicked their phone and sort of shared and who will see that so it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone. The pieces will be on display at the Gemma Gallery until mid-November.